If you're married and your husband has children from a previous marriage, and in his will he leaves half of his estate to his children first and then the rest to you, does that mean that when he dies that his children can evict you or force you to move out of the house because half of it belongs to them? Hi, my name is Laura Hurd, and I am an attorney who has practiced probate and family law in San Antonio, Texas since 1987. And recently, a friend of mine approached me with this very question. Now, that particular friend lived in another state, and so her house was in another state, and the law in that state, I don't know what the law is in that state. I can only tell you what the law is in Texas. But in Texas, the answer is no. We have homestead laws here, and whenever a person dies and leaves a widow in the house that is their homestead, then they cannot be evicted or kicked out of their homestead even if the will leaves the house to someone else. She has a right to continue to live there for the rest of her life. That goes for the widow and the minor children who are living there as their homestead. But if, for example, they were not married and she was just living with this man who was not her husband, and he died, then the children could kick her out of the house and force it to be sold, and she would get half of the money, but she couldn't prevent them from selling the house because half of it belongs to them. So there are some advantages to being married in Texas. I do. I did. I'm done. Come see me.